I agree. At our level, it's more people than there are vehicles. So we can't have those refrigerators. And that blood, that cold storage blood only lasts for so long when I can pick any Marine and just take blood from him. We can help people stay alive longer. Why do you put it with one gram poison, needle decompression? Why is it in lidocaine? Absolutely overwhelming. When some when that much stuff is being thrown at you, you can honestly get tunnel vision, just be absolutely overwhelmed, freeze, and just not know what to do at the time. But that's what the training is for, is to get you in that pressure so that the next time you do the training and the next time you're better prepared each and every time. Today my role in the training was the patient. I felt very lightheaded from uh, not having half a liter of blood in my body. I had five needles in me and I was covered in dirt uh, in a sleeping bag. So I mean. At the same time, very humbling knowing uh, the capabilities of the BAS and, and knowing what they want to implement into our curriculum. This training is building the push out into the actual battlefield so that when there is an actual wounded Marine who needs blood, not later, but at that moment, you can literally get a matching Marine's blood type to that, into that person.